ceiling with this team is obviously not that big reach. And so that's from get, to get from A to B, and you guys can get there. Yeah, I think it's all about improving. Um, throughout this entire year, I feel like we've been improving in some areas, and I feel like some areas we need to continue to improve on. So I think that's the main thing, and that's kind of the the silver lining with all this because we haven't played our best football. So I think coming off this bye week, getting some guys back, getting guys healthy, I think it's going to be very crucial for us to continue to improve as, like you said, we try to go ahead and win this division. And Sunday starts for these final six games or inside the division. If you guys take care of business, you should be set up fairly decently. For sure. I mean, we control our own destiny at this point, I think. Uh, but the main thing when you're talking about trying to get to the playoffs is, is winning our division. So I think if we handle our business in the division, you know, we kind of see where things are at the end. But uh, we have some real crucial games coming up. But starting with Jacksonville, it's going to be a very big game for us. How different is Jacksonville with Foles and Noah Minshew? Uh, I mean, he doesn't really have a lot of film. Um, I know they threw the ball over 40 times in the last game, so I mean, they're, I mean, a lot of that had to do with them being down and stuff like that. But uh, I mean, this team's a team that's going to try to come out and run the ball with Fournette. He's their best player, in my opinion, on offense. Uh, DJ Shark has really had a real productive year this year. I think he's their number one receiver. Um, but they have a lot of good receivers all over, Conley and uh, also D.D. Westbrook. So, like I said, it's going to be a huge challenge for us coming back to Nissan and try to get another W. More surprising that Coach gave you a lesson on the transference of energy, or he, in <laughs> fact, knows how to use Google to find it. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. I, I, I heard the word kinetic energy. I ain't heard that since grade school. It was uh, Now, it's, it's pretty awesome, though, because, like you said, uh, it's not really about saying that, hey, we're not coming out with good energy. The energy is always there. It's all about there going out there, making plays, like, I could just remember in the Atlanta game when Chris Miller made a big play on special teams. You know, we came out there on defense, kind of turned up, kind of, you know, gave us a little bit of juice. So I think it's all about just being able to transfer energy throughout the game. I mean, you can call it momentum, you can call it whatever it is, but I think the energy is always there for us. We have to keep on just playing well, transferring the energy, offense, and defense, special teams. On both sides of the ball, do you feel like you guys are becoming more of a big play team? Uh, yeah, I, I would say so. I, I would say on defense that, you know, we need to eliminate the big plays. I think a lot of times when you look at our stats and you're kind of self scouting yourself throughout the bye week, you know, we don't give up those huge plays. You know, we're a top defense in the NFL. So we have to find a way, right, if it's late in the game, a big run uh, or a big pass down the field, man, a lot of teams can't really just draw the ball down the field on us. So we have to find ways to make it hard for offenses to get the ball down the field, not having, you know, bad penalties that, you know, get first down. So. I think it's big for us. You feel like you have second life after watching the Texans go down this weekend and the Jags lose another one and the way things have kind of come back? I mean, uh, I think that kind of knowing that going into this part of the season, it wasn't going to be like, I knew we was all kind of going to be bunched up a little bit. This division is very competitive. Um, I mean, of course, you know, you, not saying you usually want to see your teams in your division lose, especially when you have a bye week. That's kind of something that you want. So That's a good Houston, weekend. Yeah, so Houston was able to lose. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, we can only worry about what we do. And uh, I think that we kind of control our destiny. If we can handle our business in these last six games, I think we'll put ourselves in a great position.